Please, no more edging in the chat. <laughs> chat, are we back? Yes or not? Best YouTuber ever is live streaming again. Chad, are we back? Yes or no? Welcome back, boys. Welcome back. We are back. We are live. Here with Becca Pasta in NHL 24. Now the first duty of business here, honestly, we gotta change our pads. I do not, I'm not digging the pads. They gotta go. We need to do something else. We need to, we need to shake it up a little bit. I'm only rocking a 900 save percentage. That is simply just not gonna cut it. Who wins tonight, Toronto or Arizona? Probably Toronto, I'd say. W Pasta, what's good, Pasta? What's going on, boys? I, I, I got to do something about these pads. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it is about it. Maybe if I get rid of the blue. We go all white. Long time no see. What's good, brother? What's good? Change the pads. I am changing the pads. I, I am not liking them whatsoever. Uh, I don't know if I like that either. Hmm. Chat, does this look better? Yes or nah? I mean, I think it looks a little better. Yes? Nah? The beast pads don't fit well in Winnipeg. I kind of agree. I kind of agree. I do like these pads, though. Chat, any recommendations for uh, some pads here? I do like some CCM ones. I like the Rock CCM sometimes. Blue? I tried making the pads uh, dark blue, but it didn't really go that well. Hmm. More Jets colors. Hello, Pastor. I, Pastor, I have arrived. Let's go, brother. Go bald? Chad, do I go bald? I don't think so. I think it's too early for that. I don't know what, what pads to use here. I can use these CCM ones. Damn, these are... These are long. Who's winning the team? I don't really like Edmonton Oilers or your Boston Bruins. <laughs> chat, who's winning tonight? Edmonton or uh, Boston? Put in the chat. Let me know what you guys are feeling. Is it a Oilers W? Or will the Beantown Bruins absolutely ruin my night? Don't go bald. I went to a Toronto Marlies game on Monday and saw people in Shorzy jerseys. No joke. That's hilarious. That's really funny. It's a pretty popular show. It's getting up there. At least in the uh, hockey community. We throw red in there. Uh, what is that? Wait, you're an Oilers fan? Yes. Yes, I am. Chad, are these pads looking any better? Please say yes. I think I... I, I kind of dig it a little more. I just got to get rid of the red here. And the white as well. Did you know Brad Marchand's favorite team growing up was Toronto? Yes, I did. I did know that. Do you think the Canucks are Stanley Cup contenders? Uh, they could be a threat. I don't... I, 
I wouldn't pick them to win it. But they can be uh they can definitely be a threat. Alright, chat, there we go. There's the new pads for the blocker. I oh, this is gonna take forever. Make red, light blue. Light blue. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blocker. Why am I doing whoa whoa whoa? Where am I at? Are your Detroit Red Wings gonna win the Stanley? Oh, what the <laughs> Chad, I can't believe we actually joined this team. This team is probably the most stacked be a pro team I've ever had. So if we don't win a Stanley Cup, you guys can literally roast me. Absolutely destroy me, and I, I will literally deserve it. This, uh... There we go, blocker. This team is really good, chat. I'll be shocked if we do not win a Stanley Cup. Does Matthew score 50 tonight, yes or no? 50 goals? Or does he get 250 tonight? I, I don't think he gets either, honestly. <laughs> uh. Chat, who's going to win the Stanley Cup? Put it in the put it in the chat right now. I know uh, this is taking a while, but I, I had to do it. I was sick of the pads. Why is that still light blue? There we go. Alright, we're ready now, chat. We are ready. Rate the pad drip 1 to 10. I think it's looking a little better, at least. We gotta lock in. This is the year of the Leafs. You guys say that every single season. Then uh, you guys proceed to literally choke. Every single year. Too much navy for my liking, to be honest. I don't mind it. Alright, chat. Before we head into it, I have to bring my dog upstairs. So here's a message from the sponsor of the stream. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. All right, boys, we are ready. It is time to uh, lock in. If not Toronto, then the Oilers will win the cup. That's my prediction. Yeah, you believe. I know you believe. I know you know that the Oilers are dangerous this year. They are dangerous, boys. You cannot get wrong with these two, Lightning or Avs. For a Stanley Cup pick, the Avs, yes, the Lightning... Honestly, they are getting carried so hard by Kucherov. They are not a good team this year. Kucherov is literally outscoring their problems. Chat, we are back. What was the last thing I said? My mic literally just stopped. <sighs> this fucking thing. Alright, I'm back. What was I saying? I don't even remember. I, I was saying that I need to stop giving up simulation goals. But I don't know how I'm going to do that. Alright, second period against the Boston Bruins. Here we go. 3-1 lead. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. We back. We are back, chat. And uh, for any rules now, 
for the drinking rules, I don't know how that's going to work, being that I am a goalie. But there they are, for anyone who was wondering. I also have it pinned in the, uh, in the chat. And I completely forgot to do this. That's, that's just great. Off to a great fucking start. All right. Mike? My mic is... My mic's good now. How would you rate the Rangers right now? Pretty good. All right, here we are in the third period up against the Boston Bruins. Now, we do need to start winning some games. Well, we are winning games, but I need to play a lot better for... The st as stacked of a team that we have here, we should be a lot better. I'm not even going to lie. A little bit of a disappointing uh, start, not only for Pekka Pasta, but for the Winnipeg Jets. I mean, I think I should be playing a, a lot better. Honestly, my goal coming into the season was to win the Vesna, and I don't know if I'm going to end up doing that, honestly. I do not know. Are you a lefty or a righty in hockey? I shoot uh, right. Chat, what is the more popular shooting? Is it right or left? Who shoots more? Like, I, I feel like lefty is more common, but I'm not sure. There we go! Quinn Hughes absolutely rips it top shelf. And we are back, boys. We are back. What team should I be on for Via Pro? The Winnipeg Jets, baby. Repping uh, the true... Oh, my Lord. That was an absolute rip by Quinn Hughes. Did you hear the MLB is starting tomorrow? Is it? Is it just uh, spring training? Right, right, righty. Left is not. It's definitely left. I feel like in the NHL, there's more left uh, left shots than right. Oh, I feel so quick, chat. I'm moving. Pekka Pasta is moving. Bang, also Quinn Hughes on the Jets. Yeah, chat, remind me after this game, I'll show you guys the, uh, the roster. The roster is literally... <laughs> Not off to a great start. Robbie Fabry is just going to walk straight in. Oh, man. I, I thought I was there. I thought I was there. I'm a 92 overall, and I can't make the save. That is incredibly frustrating. L, 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 L. Thanks, boys. <laughs> Alright, every goal I allow, chat, is also a sip. Remember that. And if somebody scores a hat trick against me, I also need a deal on my drink. There it is! The Jets respond right away, and we are back to within one. Number 74, Jake DeBrus. Gonna get his seventh of the season. We're back, boys. We're, we're back. I blundered there, but man, we are scoring at a high clip right now. Can you check where Matthews is? Not in the playoffs. Not out of the first round. He's definitely on a poverty franchise right now. Just, you know, rotting away. What jersey number for me? 88. Le Pekka Pasta. I think uh, Pekka Pasta now just has to be, uh, he has to be French regardless of where he goes. Oh my god, Michael Bunting! That was a dirty dangle that he literally did nothing with, but that, that that's okay. Why do you hate the Leafs? I do not hate the Leafs. I do not hate the Leafs. You get a goalie goal, I'm edging. Chat, please no edging. Please thank you. Thank you, thank you. You're the man. My school today had a teachers versus students dodgeball game. We used to have a... Uh, Teachers versus students hockey game. But uh, by the time. Oh, no, 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 no. Fabry. Empty net for the Boston Bruins. I'm locking it. Oh, no. David Pasternak. 
L's in the chat, boys. I'm, I am not playing well whatsoever. Who's the best player in the Canucks? Probably Elias Pettersson. But uh, Quinn Hughes is closer to being the best at his position compared to Pettersson. But I think Pettersson's the uh, the better player. Here we go. Jake DeBrusque. We're not out of it yet. No! What a save by the goalie. Is that Jeremy Swayman? I, it is not Swayman. What am I saying? Oh, Pekka Pasta. Le Pekka Pasta. Going for a late goalie goal. Salut. Get 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 off get off me, 14. Oh, here we go. I get past. He's gonna snipe it home, boys. Sniping that home. Snipe it home. Snipe it home. There it is! We get our very first goal as a Winnipeg Jet. Are we back to within one nail? Thank you very much for the sub, brother. There we go. Le Pega Pass the sell. Oh god damn it, I couldn't get the thumbnail. <laughs> He's celebrating as he finally gets another goalie goal. I'm edging, edging W. <laughs> we are alive, chat. We are alive. You're right. I completely forgot the soundboard. I can't even lie. <laughs> oh, there we go. Le Pega Pasta. And the Winnipeg Jets celebrating. Kucherov. Oh, we're buzzing. Chat, we are absolutely buzzing this game. I've played absolutely terrible, and we can still win this game. I can go for it again, chat. Double goalie goal, yes or no? Nah? Oh, no, we took a penalty. Are you kidding me? Nikita Kucherov, a lazy-ass penalty. Hooking, literally in the neutral zone. You bastard. What should my nickname be? I have no idea. In my school, my teacher searched up what edging is, and she gave him... Hey, yo, she gave him what? I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. Le Conor McGregor. I just got to lock in here on this penalty kill. There it is. Highway robbery. Suck my dick, Pasternak. Absolutely robbing. That is pasta on pasta crime. And pasta came out on top. Yes, Kucherov should give uh, his balls a tug. That is for sure. Oh, no, oh, no. Dump it out. There we go. Suck my pastor, Nack. Yes, sir. The pasta. Robbing. There we go. I'm locked in now, boys. I got to feel the puck. I'm locked in now. Oh, there we go. Draw the penalty. We are back to, I believe, four on four now. Or do we have the power play? Johnny Hockey. Two minutes tripping. Get in the box, you absolute goon. Never got baited. So baited as when I see pasta with the. Never got so baited as when I see pasta with a hubs jersey. What? Hi pasta, what's going on, brother? At my school, I found chicken fingers in the do <laughs> in the toilet. Are you serious? Kucherov, here we go. Ranting in on the power play. Can we? Oh, get it in! Oh my God, our offense. Right now, it's doing good, boys. Kucherov got that Saturn ring haircut. Hey, yo. You really gonna do him like that? It's kind of messed up. Come on, boys. Here we go. Back to the point. Over to Shifley. Mark Shifley. Oh. Get on that, boys. Get on it. Mark Shifley's a captain of the Winnipeg Jets. I'm going for two. I am going for two. It is the Pekka Pass the game here in Winnipeg. I'm finally showing why they signed me in the offseason. Here it is. Pekka Pasta. Round number two. No, you bastard! You caught it! Oh. Chat, they did not do that last year in NHL 23. They did not catch the puck nearly as much as they do now. It is it is crazy. The computers just literally snag it. And oh my god, Jeremy Swayman is kicking my ass right now. Ugh. Oh no, Jeremy Swayman uppercut over the top. Okay. Over the top, over the top, pass that. Here we go. There it is. Absolutely pummeling Jeremy Swayman. And he's going to have to give his balls a tug. Do not panic. Do not fear. Le Pekka Pasta is here. All right, boys. I may have not scored. 
And we may lose this game, but I kicked his ass. I love this guy's stream because you respond all the time. Me? I mean... Honestly, what is... Oh no, Korchinski, here we go. I gotta lock in here. I gotta lock in. Miko ranting in. Oh no, 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 Miko, what are you doing? No, 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 Pasta coming in. Pasta, Pasta. Pasta on Pasta crime. Go, somebody go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on. Let's go, boys, I'll come with you. Ranting in. Five seconds to go. Oh no, oh no. Korchinski. Two, one, and the Winnipeg Jets are going to lose this one to the Boston Bruins as we are on to the next one. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double track does what the f he wants. Chat, I would that was a warm-up game. I'll be real. Don't resign with the Jets. Well, I'm gonna be here for six years, boys. I don't think I have a, I have a choice if I'm able to uh able to move. Give a spe give me a speech for next game. I don't know if I can do a speech for a regular season game. What's up, shot? W's in the shot. Goal scoring wise, Matthews has had a better year than McDavid. Goal scoring wise, obviously. It doesn't make him the better player, though. Matthews is the most. Talented goal scorer in the NHL right now. There's really no doubt about that. But I never I never question his goal scoring ability. Never. His consistency, which he seems to have been a lot more consistent this year, at least goal scoring wise. Two big L's in a row, boys. This is not this is not going good. Let's play the Toronto Maple Leafs. Speaking of uh, Le Austin Matthews. Let's be honest, he's a better goal scorer than McDavid. McDavid overall is a better player. Easily. I don't I, I don't I don't see how you could watch. Literally just take stats out of it, take everything out of it. If if you sat down and watched a hockey game, one focusing on Austin Matthews and another one focusing on Connor McDavid. Back to back, and you could see just who is the better player. It it would be uh, pretty easy to see. You don't think Matthews is on Toronto anymore? Probably not. Here is our roster, boys. For anyone who uh, has not seen it yet, we have Nikita Kucherov, Mark Scheifele, and Miko Rantanen on that first line. Cole Perfetti, Michael Bunting, Jake DeBrusque is here. We got a really good third line as well. Now defensively. We are loaded, boys. Quinn Hughes, Kevin Korchinski, and Josh Morrissey. That is our core. And uh, we also have Roman Yossi. And then goal, we have a 92 overall. Pekka Pasta, who's uh, not playing the greatest. I don't know why I simulate so well. Check where Matthews is. Uh, I'll check the, the scoring. Maybe he's... Uh, He's up for the goals. Here we go. Matthews, there he is. Austin Matthews is now on the Dallas Stars. Dallas might be a, a team to go to. Shorzy is still in the Rangers. The Rangers would have been a good team as well. Ben Dover is producing. Oh my god, Chet. Look how slow it is to literally go from player to player. This game is such a downgrade from NHL 23. It's insane. All right, here we go. Up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's see what we can do. All right, first period up against Toronto. In Toronto, here we go. No score. Perfect. Second period. 
One nothing lead. Nick Robertson is going to get the Maple Leafs on the board. We've yet to score, so we need to uh, we need to lock in for this third period. Not allow a goal. Yes, Connor McDavid is on Toronto in this Be a Pro, and they still have not won a Stanley Cup. When did you go to the Jets? Last uh, stream. We didn't re-sign with Montreal in the offseason for the simple fact that every deal I got was uh, a six-year deal. So this might be my last free agent decision, and I wanted to go to a new team. This team was good. This is the best roster I've ever seen assembled. Assembled? I'm saying that right. Oh, no. I'm covering that up. By the computer, but honestly, if I got offered like two year deals or even a one year deal, I probably would have re signed with Montreal. But since the contracts were so long, I just. These lines are stacked, I know. If we. I, I don't know how. We're, I don't know how we're not better. I thought we were going to be a lot better coming into the season. I thought we would simulate insanely well. My dog literally just almost tripped <laughs> off the bed. Oh no. Montour. Back to the point, Riley. Great save by Pekka Pasta. I don't know how I made that save. I don't know how I made that save. We are locked in, boys. Pekka Pasta is locked in. I'm going to grab a thumbnail. We're going to have a very good third period here. Look at the Leafs roster. I looked at it. It's not as good as... Our roster, at least. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail here. There we go. Toronto didn't even give McDavid the captaincy. So disrespectful. Yeah, he would definitely uh, probably get the captaincy. If he went there. I don't see them not putting the C on his jersey. Even if John Tavares was still there, like if he joins in two years or whenever his contract is up, regardless of who is there, I believe he would get uh, named captain. They can finally stop a goddamn beach ball. Yes. Who thinks that Bedsy is going to get traded at the deadline? One one thing, it's not... I think it's Bedsy with a D. Not a T. And Bedard is not getting traded. Why would he? Great saves by Pekka Pasta. I'm absolutely locked in now, boys. I needed that warm-up game. How do you feel about the Oilers' win streak not continuing? I mean, you're going to lose eventually. Say, honestly, I think if we play Vegas before the All-Star break, if that game was before the All-Star break, I think we would have... Uh, if we didn't have the All-Star break in the middle of it, I think we'd break the record. But the momentum that we had beforehand... And then we just started so flat. And I, I I called it. Great save by Pasta. I was there. I was ready. Chicago traded their whole team, yet they're not trading him. Who? Regards from Chile. I just joined the stream a couple days ago. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Where are you ending? Ending one. Oh my god. How are we not bearing at least one of these shots? Yes, I chat. I want a much better, much better save percentage than a 900. I want to rock like a 925. Like I'm, I want to put up great numbers. McDavid, over. I'm ready. I'm ready for anything right now. Who do you think's gonna win? Win what? The Stanley Cup? Oh no, rebound! Kucherov couldn't get there quick enough. Ranton in. Great shot on net. Still cannot get one to go. Shifley, come on, dude. Wait, he got traded. What did I miss? Who got traded? I'm I'm so confused. Who thinks at least one NHL superstar is gonna get traded? Uh I don't think so. Who would end up getting traded? There's no really superstar that's on the block. 
How does that go in? How on earth does that go in? I am literally square to that puck as best as I'll ever be. And somehow that still goes in on me. How does that go in? I'm a 92 overall goaltender. I don't know how much better I have to be to be able to stop a simple fucking shot. I demand an explanation right now. Was the first NHL game I bought with my own money? Or like that I got as like a Christmas gift. Because, I mean, growing up, I would get uh, NHL video games pretty much every year. Don't say that word now. What did I say, chat? Chill out and enjoy the game. I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying myself right now after I absolutely fucking snipe on you, mate. Get out of here, you stupid. Oh, yeah. Absolute. Get, get off my ass. Here we go. Here we go. Get in my way. Get it. No, skate! Jesus. Gail Lewis can catch beach balls that- what? You think Flurry retires during the offseason? Yes, I think this is, uh, his last year. He's not really that good of a goalie anymore. And the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to beat the Winnipeg Jets 2 to nothing. Man, we are we are struggling right now. You should get dialed in. I'm trying. I promise you I am trying. Held my breath there for a moment. How many X factors do you have? I believe only 2. I believe I have 2. All right, boys, it's time to crack open another one. Pass the goes from sunny Anaheim to gambling in Vegas to speaking French in Montreal to the freezing cold in Winnipeg. Toronto got McDavid. Yes, sir. This is like six years in at this point. They also have Mc... They had, last season, they had McDavid and Matthews. But Matthews left to go to Dallas, and now it's just uh, McDavid's team. Yo, I'm new here. Sub, what's going on, brother? W stream chat. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, why am I rocking? Not even a 900 save percentage as a 92 overall goaltender. I think that's just straight up disrespectful. Past, I want you chill out, buddy. Please chat. No, no edging in the chat. Please and thank you. 2019 Nets are the most fun team in the NBA history. They were a fun team when they had D'Lo as a, as an All Star, but I mean they weren't. They were never going to win a title with that team. Are you Canadian? Yes, I am. All right, boys. Here we go up against the Arizona Coyotes. First period, one one. Okay, no more goals, please. One goal on eight shots. Second period, two one lead. Why do I simulate so poorly? I'm literally a 92 overall goaltender with X factors. No edging on the stream chat. I already finished edging. I just exploded in my... Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right, here we go. Third period up against the Arizona Coyotes. And uh, we got to start winning games, and we got to stop giving up goals. I Is there any way to improve, like, how my goalie simulates in this game? Can I mess with the sliders? Will that do something? Because I feel like... Oh, my God. That li literally almost went in. I feel like my goalie still simulates like he's a 75 overall. Like, there's literally... There has been no difference. The only difference I've noticed as I've gained o overalls... Is in the game, I, I'm i a little bit better. Even though last game still, that ugly goal went in. Don't lose the Arizona. I will try not to. What year are you in? Uh, year number six. 
92 overall. One of the best goalies in the entire game. And I still simulate like I'm a 70. EA Sports or simulation sucks. Yep. Yes, sir. Kevin Ollie is an interim head coach for the Knights currently. I'm excited to see what he can do. Uh, I'm going to be real with you, brother. There's really not much the Nets can do. They are not very good, and they're most likely going to end up trading uh, Mikael Bridges. He's probably going to end up getting dealt. And they're going to go back into a rebuild. I'm there. I'm here all day. I'm here. Call me Patrick Mahomes because I'm him. I've been subbed for so long. haven't seen a stream in a bit. Had too much hockey. Nice. If you lose this game, chug your drink. All right, dude. All right, I got you. Bet. Oh, no. See, my own teammate even tries to put it into my own net. That's crazy, chat. That is crazy. Highest overall in NHL 24 is probably like a 50 overall or something. What do you mean? Shane Pinto. Easy save by Pekka Pasta. Like, I'm locked in, but I still simulate so poorly. It's insane. Is be a pro not happening next year if it's the same mode? <sighs> Honestly, as much as it, it probably sucks to say and sucks for me to say because I want, oh no, Lee coming in. Lee, I want EA to develop a good game and improve be a pro and not just literally have the same thing again next season or next year. I will probably be back. I will at least try it. I will try it out. And uh, I may not do as long as I do this year, but thank you very much for the sub, brother. But I will probably still end up doing it. I want to say I won't because I'm sick and tired of just getting laziness and not no game updates for Be a Pro. I want EA to actually do something with it. I think Be a Pro could be huge. I think it could be, be very, very big in NHL games, but they just they don't put any support into it. A girl in my glass chugged another girl's water bottle. Nice. <laughs> How'd you end up on the Jets? I re or I didn't re-sign. I signed here in the offseason because their team is absolutely loaded. It is the best team I've ever seen the computer build, and I wanted to be a part of it. We we are going three Pete Stanley Cups here, boys. I'm locked in. No, 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 no. Stanley. I'm ready. How? No, 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 no. I'm here. Pekka Past is here. I'm ready. I'm locked in, chat. Do you know X Factor dialed in after you make 15 saves? Just need 2,000 liability? I, I usually don't make that many saves. I don't get that many shots, honestly. Do you like Quinn Hughes? Yes, I like uh, Quinn Hughes. You know you're playing the old Winnipeg Jets right now? I mean, technically, yes. Technically, they are the old Winnipeg Jets. I don't know, Gavin coming in. I'm here, I'm ready. I'm locked in, Chet. I am absolutely locked in right now. There we go. Draw that penalty. We just need to score. NHL games and iPhones are the same. I can prove it by saying they both release something new every year. And it's the same thing. Yeah. I don't know, man. I I feel like we had way more changes back in the day to NHL games compared to what we have now. Like even like 10 years ago, from like NHL 11 to 14. I actually felt like EA was building towards the steps of a good hockey game in those years. And then since NHL 15, they literally have never recovered. They have never recovered. They've just been behind the eight ball every year since then, trying to get back to where they were. And now I feel like they just, they don't try enough game to game. But the new developers do seem like they do want to do that. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. 
I think this game could be a lot better with easy little minor tweaks. But I don't know. Gameplay-wise, this year is an absolute joke. I don't know what they did to gameplay. They completely overhauled it, and it, it's it's lost its touch. It's horrible. I still play NHL 15 on my Xbox 360. I think in the summertime, or maybe in the spring, spring slash uh, summer, I think we're going to do uh, be a pro mode or something like that for NHL 15. Or at least we'll try on old gen, on the PlayStation 3, baby. We'll, we'll do something with the old games, and I'll make some uh, videos on them as well. Feels like EA Sports switched their creator of the NHL games for 15. That's why the games have been the same. Maybe. Uh, I, I have no inside information. But, uh... You, you need to chug your drink. I got you, brother. Here we go. Damn, oh, I didn't put the, uh... I don't have the drink counter up. My bad. Drink counter. Where is it at? There we go. We are not at 10. We are at... 3. I think we're on 3, chat. <laughs> yeah. I've had three. Okay. Who's your favorite NHL goalie? Roberto Luongo. Right now in the NHL, I guess Vassy, but I don't really have a goaltender that I like. I find, Chad, I find goalies now suck so much compared to what we had like 10, 20 years ago. Like, tell me who's the best goaltender in the NHL right now. They're not really having a great season. Like, nobody has been like outstanding. For the last like two years, as far as goalies, feels like players have really gotten ahead of goalies yet again, like they were before goalies got their get back in like the early 2000s. Favorite NHL team? Uh, the Oilers, the Edmonton Oilers. Sadly, maybe. I saw Roberto Luongo play my first NHL game. That's nice. I, Bobby Lou is my favorite goaltender, Chad. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no. Wait, wait. did we play... Chad. Okay, we already played that game. Okay. I was going to say. All right, here we go. We are playing our former team in the Montreal Canadiens. I'm ready. You guys... Re L's in the chat, boys. L's in the chat. The coach has not decided to start Pekka Pasta... For the game on home ice against his former team that he literally won a Stanley Cup with last year. <sighs> Alright, we're just going to sim the game. 2-1 victory, we got the dub. Alright, I guess maybe I'll play my other former team in the Vegas Golden Knights. Okay, never mind, coach. Fuck me, I guess. Fuck me. What is going on right now? Major L in the chat, rip. Oh my god. The way you've been playing lately, I don't think you could stop. Chat! Coach! I haven't been playing. I have not been playing lately. This is not going well, chat. I think I need to take the uh, Vesna out of the title. We are not winning no goddamn Vesna this season. Oh. Stupid coach. Play past or I'm suing him. Pretty sure EA sent half their developers to another game after 14. They literally have never recovered since. They've just been behind since then. It's crazy. All right, here we go. Up against the Colorado Avalanche in Ball Arena. Smoking that Avs pack tonight. Here we go. First period. Okay, one nothing lead. I'll take a one nothing lead. Just pass the do not allow another goal, please, and thank you. Second period. Oh, my God. Another 2-1 game where we're dependent on our... Not on us making saves. But instead, our team scoring a goal. Do you think Patrick Kane will stay with the Red Wings? Uh, probably. Right, I gotta chug my drink. I, <laughs> Chad, I was doing too much yapping. All right, here we go in the third period. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm not ready. Alex Tuck. All right, Pekka Pasta. Save that. There we go. Do a watch party for the 2024 Stanley Cup. I think I'm going to do the Oilers games until they get elimina eliminated or win the Stanley Cup, which I think they're going to win the Stanley Cup. But I think I might do the uh, the Stanley Cup finals as well. 
I think uh, we can do that. But we will we will be doing Oilers watch parties in the spring. Every Oilers playoff game. Who's the best player in the NHL in your opinion? I think it's pretty standard. It's been Connor McDavid for the last like five, actually five years, six years. I'd say since 2018-19, Connor McDavid has been the best player in hockey. You can maybe even say since 2018. He's been clearly better than Crosby, who was the best player. So I, I think it's still McDavid. If you say anybody other than McDavid, I, I, I just don't understand how there's a case. I mean, Nathan McKinnon is great. Matthews as well. Even a guy like Hale McCarr. But... Oh, no, no, no. We're literally watching the most talented hockey player who has ever lived. It's, it's going to be hard for somebody. I think the only guy who can really end up being clearly better than him in probably like four or five years maybe is Connor Bedard. I think he has the, the shot to do it, but uh, not right now. Matthews because he scores a lot more. Yeah, but he's not near as good of a playmaker. Oh, no. Here we go. Alex Tuck. Alex took flying poke check back a pass to absolutely lazy mode. He doesn't impact the game the same as Connor McDavid. He doesn't control a game. He's more of a, a play finisher than a play driver. McDavid actually has been really physical this season as well. Oh no. And McDavid is a whole lot better than Matthews in the playoffs. He's better in the regular season and he's better in the playoffs. So there's really, I don't see an argument for Matthews. Matthews is the best goal scorer in the NHL, though. And he's been that for probably like three years, I'd say, at this point. And he's a surefire top five player in the NHL. When he when he's at, at his peak, he's probably number two or number three. I like Matthews. Well, you can like whoever you want. Like, your favorite player is your favorite player at the end of the day. Opinion on there being no Maple Leaf fans at Maple Leaf Games this year. It's way too expensive, that's why. The ticket prices are literally through the roof. And none of the fans can afford it. Like, it costs you an arm and a leg to go to uh, a Leafs game. It, it's it's not great. In the middle, great save by Pekka Pasta. Absolutely robbing. And he's flopping. Staring down the shooter. Holy hell. Connor McDavid is Jesus. Yes, he, he is Jesus on skates. We're literally witnessing history, boys. It might be a long time before we see a guy like Connor McDavid come around. I mean, Bedard could be that. I don't know if he could be as good as McDavid at his peak. But I feel like Chicago will be able to build a better team around Bedard than the Oilers have over McDavid. Like, I believe Chicago will have a good team and they'll have chances to win a lot earlier. That McDavid did with uh, the Oilers. Yes, they used to have the All-Star game and be a pro on last gen. That's another reason why I, I want to do it. We got to do at least like one season. It'd be so much fun. I'm going to check how much a Leafs game is and how much a Sens game is. Oh, the Sens games are so much cheaper. You could go to five Sens games just to go to one, one uh, Leaf game. Nets management is horrible. Who do you think Mikhail Bridges is? They declined four first for those balls. <laughs> yeah, Mikhail Bridges is not... I mean, he's a great player. He'll be a great player on a championship contender. But, I mean, he's not like a, a, a superstar. They should just blow it up. Get picks. Try to get... Uh, oh, my Lord. That Cooper flag guy. He's going to be... Uh, he's going to be pretty good. And just, just go through the rebuild. Hopefully you can land a free agent. I don't know if you guys will. But for, especially now with the new CBA in the NBA. It's going to be tough for uh, super teams to form. And free agents to just sign anywhere. They're signing long deals now. Five years for a load of money. Nice. Thank you Kucherov for dumping the puck in. With less than 10 seconds to go. In the third period that we are down in. That is incredible AI by EA Sports. W's in the chat for that. 
Holy hell, what did I just witness? A peewee hockey player would not make that mistake. But this, this is what we accept from EA Sports. That's, that's crazy, chat. Instant replay. All right, instant replay. I'm doing it. So here it is. We are down by one in the third period. This, no, this is not it. Never mind. There it is. Where is it at? Where is it at? Nope. Here it is. So we are down by one in the third period of a 2-1 hockey game. Ten seconds to go in the third period. Nikita Kucherov has a shot. Whoa, wait a minute. Nikita Kucherov has a shot to go down and tie the game. Wait a minute. What on earth are you doing? We literally had a opportunity to score and tie the game up with 10 seconds to go. Kucherov says, fuck it. I'm just going to launch it in the corner. Dump and chase, coach. Meanwhile, Devontae just skates it out and we end up losing the goddamn hockey game. EA Sports, what, what am I witnessing here? This is not hockey. This this is literally not hockey. Well, there is my rant for today, boys. That is going to be a TikTok. EA Sports needs to fix their games. Yep. Yes, sir. What is the most underrated team in the NHL so far? Honestly, the Florida Panthers. They've been surprisingly really well. This season. No, I can see McDavid getting like 140 points. Maybe 145. I don't think he'll hit uh, 150 again. But that's I said that before coming into the season as well. I said I predicted like... Uh, I think 147. 145. Are you leaving? Leaving where? Chad, I'm here. What about overrated? Boston. I don't see them winning a Stanley Cup, honestly. Leafs tickets are 100 more than Sens ticket for the cheapest seat. That's just... That's only counting cheap tickets as well. That's not even counting the, the good seats. Do you think Quebec should get a franchise again? I don't know if Batman will ever put a, uh, a hockey team in Quebec again. I don't, I don't think he's going to do it. I just don't see it as a possibility. I am now 14, 15, and 3 with an 897 save percentage as a 92 overall goaltender. <sighs> we are third behind the Coyotes in the Central. Man, what what a disappointing season so far. I want to see Cooper flag in the net so bad. I think he's gonna be a pretty pretty good uh player. Predict your playoff bracket. I think I'll do that before the playoffs start. All right, here we go. Up against the San Jose Sharks in the first period. 1-0 lead for Winnipeg. Okay, second period. 2-0 lead for the Winnipeg Jets. So a very good simulation so far. So far, so good. Hopefully that continues. Do you think the Coyotes will relocate to Salt Lake City? Honestly, I can see that happening. I would not be shocked. All right, here we go in the third period of a very, very good simulated game so far. We are up two to nothing over the San Jose Sharks after that absolute debacle that was last game. I, I, I literally don't know what happened there, but um, we're back, and we are maybe better than ever. Never mind, William Eklund is going to snipe that in. I am square with the puck yet. A 92 overall goal. He can't make a simple glove save. Eklund's going to get his ninth of the season. There goes my shutout. Absolutely amazing. If the Bruins beat, or the, if the Toronto beats Bruins in the playoffs, you have no idea how excited I would be. Yeah, that would be a big W for your team. What do you think of the Vancouver of Vancouver this year? Are they going to choke in the playoffs? I don't think they're going to choke. I just don't think they're going to win the Stanley Cup. Like I, I, 
I don't see them winning the cup. They don't really have that experience to win the cup either. When was the last time an inexperienced hockey team won the Stanley Cup, chat? Can you guys name me the last team that won it? It has been a long, long time. There we go! Miko Rantanen snipes it home. And we bury it, and we are back to a two-goal lead here in the third period. The Jet team is so different than Nail. Yeah, it's a lot better than Nail as well. This team is loaded. This is a super team, on paper at least. What do you think about the Winnipeg Jets? They can make some noise in the playoffs. If, if, if Winnipeg gets hot goaltending from Connor Hellebuck, they can maybe win a round or two in the playoffs, but I, I don't see them win the Stanley Cup either. They're really, really dependent on their goaltender. If Connor Hellebuck's playing amazing and he's hot, they're a hard team to beat, especially in the playoffs. But I don't trust their players. No! Oh my god! How do I literally not even poke check that, dude? Come on, EA. William Eklund gets his second of the night. I, I literally have the uh, the poke checking X Factor on too. All right. Would you say the 2019 Blues were inexperienced? Inexperienced? Um. No, because they they were making the playoffs years before that, and they were having they had experience of losing. I would say. I mean, did they make a conference final? They would make the second round before that. But, uh... It was just they were so bad in the regular season that everyone just kind of right, wrote them off, essentially. Because they, they were a playoff team pretty much every year before that. And then they started the season so poorly. Everybody was like, oh, well, they're done. It's the decline of St. Louis. And then they just... They, they turned around their season. They also got really hot goaltending from Jordan Bennington. Bennington, Jordan Bennington, and that kind of carried them a lot. And Ryan O'Reilly was very good. Tim Hortons, baby. Chat, I have no opinions on Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I don't care who, who day two. That's not really something I care about. I understand why people are mad because the NFL shows a lot of Taylor Swift. People are just sick of it. Like, I, I don't care who he dates. He can... I literally don't care. This ju is just rename the Oilers to McDavid's hockey team. I mean, we have some... No, nah, not, not anymore. We have a pretty good team. There's a lot of good players on the Oilers. This has been the best team in the McDavid era. I believe in us. I believe that Connor McDavid is too good not to win a Stanley Cup. There we go! Kevin LeBanc snipes it home, and we are buzzing offensively, boys. After that little blunder I had, no, Vegas was not inexperienced. They were very experienced. They made the playoffs every year of their existence. They went to the Stanley Cup Finals before. They were in the Conference Finals against Montreal in 2021. They were knocking on the door of a Stanley Cup. Just like the Avs were, just like Tampa Bay was, just like Pittsburgh was, just like L.A., Chicago. Maybe not L.A. Maybe L.A. was the last. Their first cup win. After that, they were just... They were insane for a couple of years, but... Inexperienced hockey teams do not win Stanley Cups. That's another reason why I think the Oilers... Oh, get in, get in. That's another reason why I think the Oilers are going to win the cup. They have a very good team, the best player in the world, maybe ever. And they have a hockey team that's that's knocking on the door for the last two years. And eventually, eventually they're going to break through. And Connor McDavid will raise that Stanley Cup. I believe so. Would you say Toronto is experienced? They're a weird one because they made the playoffs every year, but like they literally won their first ever playoff series last season. And they've been together since, what, 2016? Like the core, at least? 
So that, that, that that's a long, long time. They got they got more experience now from last uh, playoff run because they actually finally won a series. They know what it feels like and they know how it's going to just get even harder after that. But uh they're they're really a weird one. I thought I honestly thought last year was a good shot for them to win the Stanley Cup. Because uh they had a really good team last year. They did. I I couldn't even lie. Their team last year was a lot better than it is uh, this season. Garland coming in. Garland doesn't get the deke off. Great defending. 4-2 lead here. What's your least favorite team? And if you say Ottawa, I'm going to be pissed. I don't really think I have a least favorite team. There's teams that I just don't care about. So I guess maybe that would be least favorite. Like Arizona is a team I really don't care about. There we go. Mark Shifley puts it home in the rebound. Which is going to pretty much solidify this Winnipeg Jet win as we got the W. What's your opinion on the Corey Perry signing? Oh, it's a great, uh, great signing. Connor Brown. Connor Brown has been so disappointing, dude. That's not, uh, that's not a good contract. He is a bad, I don't know what has happened to him. He's a bad hockey player now. I feel like I've been catching a lot of people spamming too much, so I put them <laughs> time out for a bit. I think this year the Leafs D won't make the playoffs. Hey, yo, what? They don't make the playoffs? No, I think Toronto's going to make the playoffs. Oh, my Lord. And there we go. Winnipeg is going to catch the W. Finally, we have a good simulation and a good game and a good W. There we go. We were literally trying to the last second there, too, to try to get a goal. That's insane, boys. Chill out a little bit, please. What is your opinion on Wayne Gretzky? Uh, how do I say this? Nobody has been as good at a single sport, in any sport, as Wayne Gretzky has been in hockey. Nobody's been more dominant. MJ, LeBron in basketball? No. Barry Bonds in baseball? No. Tom Brady or Patrick Mahomes in football? No. Messi or Ronaldo? No. Nobody has ever been Tiger Woods. No. What team do you think is the most successful all time in the NHL? Most successful? I mean, you could say Montreal, but they haven't been good in a while. I mean, no Canadian team really has been uh, good in a while. But uh, yeah, no no athlete was better at their sport than Wayne Gretzky. He's literally the goat of goats. It's crazy. Right, we'll simulate up a few days here. There we go. We got a three-game winning streak. Okay. Chat, what do you guys think? Do you think Gretzky is the goat of goats? Toronto and Boston would meet in the playoffs right now. Who do you guys winning as of now? Um, honestly, I'll take Boston right now. But I feel like by the end of the season, I will say uh, Toronto. But uh, I'm still going to take Boston. Does anyone go to any CHL games or something like that? I've been to, uh, to a few uh, CHL games in my time. All right, so through 47 games played, the Winnipeg Jets are 25, 18, and 4. 54 points, third in our division. We kind of trailed off a little bit in there. We had a very rough patch, but now we went on like a four-game winning streak. Pekka Pasta has been playing a little bit better at least. So 
So far through thir- so far through 34 games, we are 15, 16, and 3, one shutout, an 897 save percentage, and a 291 GAA. I don't know what it is in the regular season, but we are just not a great goalie. I have no idea why. So uh, very, very frustrating in the playoffs. We are a much better goaltender. I mean, we had a 9-5 save percentage there. And uh, last playoff run, we won the Stanley Cup. But uh, we definitely, definitely need to start improving. We're at 93 overall, and we are simulating like that. That is crazy. Every time you've done free agency, you always try to prank us. Chat, do I prank you guys? Yes or no? I don't think so. What if I, uh, <laughs> I've pranked you guys? When does that happen? I go to a lot of 67 games because they're cheap. I just realized Kevin LeBanc is from Brooklyn, which means he will recu- recruit Pekka Past into the Nets. Oh my god, that's crazy. Chat, NBA 2K25? Career mode? Yes or not? Nah? What do I think of players doing the gritty on ice? Your stats are fire. They are definitely not fire. I I don't really care if people want to do the gritty or not. I mean, I think if... I think they probably should have done it a couple years ago when it was actually like popular, like three years ago. What I mean, it is what it is. It gives the NHL some popularity and some uh, some people more eyes on the are on the sport. So it's a good thing, I guess. Sure, he on NBA NBA two K twenty five and join the Nets. Save us! All right, boys. I think I'm gonna call it there. There'll be a video going up tomorrow, four thirty p.m. Eastern time. If you didn't already, go check out my second second channel, Pass the Two K. Literally just posted a video today on there. Go check it out. Give me a like if you want, if you enjoyed the video. If not, you're gonna, you don't got to do shit. Uh, we will be back tomorrow with a video. And what? what then Friday, I'll probably be back Saturday with a stream. So uh, see y'all then. And always remember, chat, always remember. Don't be silly, wrap your willy. Pass the 2K. Go check it out. See you later.